Isabel. A San Diego jury today siding with a young man who says a retired cop nearly killed him. That cop now ordered to pay a hefty price tag for his actions. Surveillance video from a Bonita neighborhood nearly four years ago showing the exact moments Adolfo Garcia says he feared for his life. A lot of things happen fast. Um, I'm just thankful I'm, I'm still here. Talking through tears today, he tells me he's still haunted by the day he came across retired Chula Vista police officer William Davidson. I just have a hard time trying to forget about it. Garcia and three other friends say they were simply trying to check out the view from this foreclosed house when Davidson confronted them. This case was, was really at its core about someone abusing their the right to have a weapon. Yeah, we Garcia's attorney, so Marlia Delano, us. representing him during his recent civil suit. She says the amount of force used by Davidson on four unarmed teens was not only unnecessary, it could have been deadly. My client was trying to get away from him and while he was spraying pepper spray in his face, but he shot with a hollow point bullet with a high risk of ricochet. In court documents, Davidson says his hand was caught in the door and he feared for his life. But after two weeks of trial, a jury finding Davidson financially responsible and ordering him to pay $185,000. When you carry a gun, you need to remember that first and foremost, there has to be a respect for the sanctity of life. And that weapon needs to be used responsibly. Now, we did try to get in touch with Davison after the verdict, but haven't been successful. Garcia's attorney says she is now trying to get the Chula Vista Police Department to revoke Davidson's concealed carry permit. Mm.